to ensure effective and sustainable use of fishery resources and create a new era of fisheries. This is the mission and responsibility of the Fisheries Research Institute. Based in Geelong, FRI has four research divisions, including the Marine Fisheries Division, Aquaculture Division, Seafood Technology Division, and Planning and Information Division. There are also six research centers nationwide. The Freshwater Aquaculture Research Center, Mariculture Research Center, Coastal and Offshore Resources Research Center, Donggang Biotechnology Research Center, Eastern Marine Biology Research Center, and Penghu Marine Biology Research Center. In addition to high-tech research facilities, the FRI has a number of research vessels. We have established aquatic genetic resources banks and isolation field experiment facilities for transgenic aquatic organisms. Through concerted effort, the FRI engages in active field research of marine fisheries, aquaculture, and seafood technology, while promoting relevant technologies and information services. Our major research achievements are as follows. Marine fishery resources. Research on migratory fish resources. Tuna species are key to Taiwan's offshore fisheries. The FRI continuously collects data concerning the fishing effort, catch, length and weight of bluefin tuna and yellowfin tuna, conducting dynamic assessment of the data as a reference for tuna resource management. In mackerel and scad fishing grounds, the FRI has proven the relationship between seasonal variations in oceanic conditions and fishing ground formation via satellite remote sensing and sonar technologies. This saves time and cost for fishermen in search of fish schools. The billfish is the dominant commercial species off eastern waters. We continuously make resource assessments and conduct tagging and recapture studies to investigate migratory patterns as a reference for billfish resource management. The Sakura shrimp is a precious aquatic species in southwestern coastal waters. The FRI has introduced various policies to help fishermen increase Sakura shrimp catches, including improvement of fishing gear and processing technology, and formation of a self-management model these have helped fishermen boost profits by hundreds of millions of NT dollars. Research on demersal resources. Most coastal and offshore trawling grounds in Taiwan are located along the southwest and northeast continental shelves. Via length composition analysis, ecological studies, and stock assessments, FRI provides relevant information that can enhance fishery resource management. Research on deep sea fishery resources in eastern waters. In Taiwan's eastern waters, below 200 meters, the FRI has discovered diamondback squid, golden eye perch, Pacific palm fret, giant gamba prawn, and other commercial species. The waters around Guishan Island, below 150 meters, have also been found to be rich in Sakura shrimp resources. Investigation and formation of fishing ground environments. To reinforce environmental monitoring in coastal and offshore fishing grounds, 62 observation stations have been set up in adjacent waters. Data relating to hydrology, primary productivity, plankton, and fish larvae are collected regularly, adding to database that will facilitate analysis of the correlation between changes in fishing ground environment and variation of fishery resources. Analysis of the otolith ring increments of fish larvae is also conducted to understand spawning period, spawning grounds, and early life history. 
providing a reference for resource conservation. In order to build artificial fishing grounds, after a series of investigations and assessment processes, the FRI deployed surface and midwater fads off coastal and offshore waters. These have effectively attracted migratory fish and helped fishermen earn hundreds of millions of NT dollars. In addition, using samples collected over the years by means of image processing, the FRI has also established the Digital Aquatic Organism Archive, which provides resources for research, demonstration, and educational purposes. Aquaculture Technology the FRI has bred fast-growing all-male tilapia and pure-red tilapia strains. Using electrophoresis and DNA identification technology, we conduct strain analysis on which selection, breeding and preservation are based. The FRI has developed an automatic production system for fish spawning, egg collection, and fry transportation. This has been applied to grass carp, big head carp, black carp, and Australian silver perch fry production, making a significant breakthrough in mass seed production technology. Grouper species are key in seawater aquaculture. The FRI conducts research on king grouper, potato grouper, orange spotted grouper and leopard coral grouper culture technology enhances broodstock cultivation and assists in producing high quality fry to establish commercial industry. Cobia is the main cage culture species in Taiwan. The FRI cultivates fast growing strains and high quality fry establishes key nursery technology, and develops vaccines and high-performance feed, continuously enhancing the competitiveness of cage culture industry. Young tuna caught from fads are transported to inland ponds and sea cages, and raised as broodstock in order to develop breeding and culture technologies. The FRI has established SPF shrimp stocks, as well as developed relevant breeding and culture technologies, disease prevention, and standard operating procedures. The FRI combines conventional and molecular breeding technologies to produce high quality fry for the aquaculture industry. To achieve a sustainable small abalone culture industry, the FRI has developed gene diversity testing technology and selected benthic diatoms suitable for fry growth. We combine genetic markers with conventional selection and breeding methods to produce good strains which improve abalone culture efficiency. Because of the high demand for spotted Babylon and its suitability for industrialized culture, the FRI has developed complete culture technology established a commercial pilot plant and successfully promoted it as a new aquaculture industry. Hard clams and oysters are delicious and nutritious shellfish. To increase shellfish culture production, the FRI not only has developed mass fry production technology, but also established an ecological pond culture model. The ornamental fish industry is a new business with high potential. The FRI strives to develop culture technology for high-value seawater and freshwater ornamental fish. We have already created mass production technologies for seahorses, clownfish, damselfish, and ornamental shrimp to assist industry development. By using controllable indoor culture tanks and clean and nutritious deep sea water, the FRI has developed sea grape and seaweed production technologies which promote development of the macroalgae culture industry. The FRI also builds marine algae beds to form new fishing grounds. A 
sufficient supply of food organisms is the key to raising healthy fish, shrimp, and shellfish fry. The FRI has developed breeding and application technology for microalgae, adhesive algae, macroalgae, and zooplankton. We established a food organism preservation center which provides practical applications to the hatchery industry. In addition, we select appropriate macroalgae and oil-rich algae as biofuel resources. The FRI has also developed high-sensitivity bacteria detection kits for farmers to do self-diagnosis. The kits have been commercialized. To reduce use of antibiotics and chemicals, the FRI searches for safe and effective herbal medicines, as well as probiotics, in order to build a disease prevention system. To accelerate selection and breeding, the FRI uses molecular methodology to select genetic markers for commercial features, and actively builds up the genetic database for important aquaculture species. By using mitochondria DNA technology, we analyze the molecular phylogeny of important aquaculture species. A DNA sequence database, including 39 fish species and 21 shrimp species, has been established as a basis for species identification. To preserve aquatic broodstocks and yield high quality culture strains, in Lugang, Penghu, and Taidong, we have established aquatic genetic resource banks for various species. The FRI continues release of Japanese eels to effectively enhance wild stock. We also release fish, shrimp, and shellfish to restock the resources. As for endangered species, such as horseshoe crab and sea turtles, we protect their habitats. Aquatic Product Processing Technology and Application Development From bulk catch, we have developed delicious seasoned seafood with long shelf life, such as barbecued eel, smoked squid and mullet, and cold smoked cobia and soury. Functional aquatic products, including cosmetic and health products, are made by extracted peptide and phospholipids containing DHA from unutilized resources, such as fish scales, squid skin, and lanternfish. In addition, healthy toothpaste and bone health products from hydroxypatite from scales are developed. We extracted active substances from seaweed, which possesses immune, blood lipid, blood sugar modification, and antioxidation functions to produce health foods such as oligo capsules, instant drinks, and fiber tablets. We have also developed seaweed-based herb tea and snack foods. The FRI also produces oyster-based health foods such as oyster essence and tablets and extracts nacreous peptides from oyster shells to make cosmetics and health products. The processed shell powder can be a source of calcium, water purifier, and natural bacteriostat. We use deep sea water as an ingredient to produce a series of masks and skin cleansers that can effectively enhance skin quality. Other products including beer, ice, salty liquor, smoothies, bath salts, and flavored salts are also developed. At the FRI's Jilung headquarters, Tainan and Taishi, we have set up certified fishery inspection service centers, which accept aquatic product and feed inspection requests. Technology and Information Services Promoting the fishery industry is a paramount task of the FRI. 
we have established a global fishery information network and various relevant databases and provide satellite water temperature images for fishermen's reference. The FRI also publishes promotional booklets and frequently holds fishery technology workshops, training courses, and international conferences. We continuously provide fishery technology consultation and instruction. Aquariums and exhibition halls have been set up at our headquarters and research centers, displaying aquatic ecology and research achievements in a recreational way. In the spirit of health, efficiency and sustainability, the FRI will rise to meet increasing competition and challenges, doing our utmost through visionary thinking and an active and responsible attitude. Taking a macroscopic view, the FRI will improve industrial structure and make full use of innovative technologies to conduct in-depth research and explore new horizons, striving to provide mankind with a sustainable supply of aquatic resources. Thanks for visiting. We hope you